He gets 12 years serving a state, serving a country, and they take it away from a, a stupid lettering of the law. You see what it means to the people? The revolution is not an apple that falls when it's ripe. You have to make it fall. Be the force that shakes the tree, that turns the tide, that rocks the boats, that rattles the cages, that stands our ground, that won't back down. That changes the rules. That breathes fresh air. That takes on the world. That shows no fear. That sets the stage. That answers the call. That changes the game. That unites us all. Welcome to the revolution. It was a line from famous revolutionary Che Guevara that motivated the heavy hitters of WA's politics, business and sporting communities to call Western Australia to come together tonight and that they have done. Let the revolution begin. Good evening, hello and welcome to World Series Rugby. It is fast moving, free scoring and full on entertainment the way sports should be played. And it's not just on the pitch that we'll see that. It uh, is very much here in these stands. It's absolutely magnificent to be here. We welcome you wherever you're watching live in Perth on Channel 7 or right around this sports mad nation of ours on Fox Sports. And it's my pleasure to personally welcome Michael Liner as the Fijians arrive. Michael, right on cue. Uh, they are an imposing unit, as you were, one of the legends of Australian sport, not just rugby, and you've been a major part of this from the start. You must be a very proud man. Yeah, it's a very exciting evening, and there's a lot of work by a lot of people that have got it here tonight. It's just so wonderful to see so many people come out and support the force, Fiji, this new sort of rugby revolution. It's a very exciting night. We've had so much fun so far, and the game hasn't even started yet. Really looking forward to it, Mark. Can't wait to join the commentary team with you. They're the three jeans there. They are flamboyant. We know they will throw the ball around. Now, Michael Liner had a lot to do with it, but it's fair to say we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Andrew Forrest. He's the man behind it all. And just a little while ago, he was out where the three jeans are in the middle of the pitch, and he had plenty to say to the rev the crowd up. We're here together to celebrate our magnificent state. And if you're visiting from over east, if you love the Western Force, you love Western Australia, you are Western Australian. I need everyone in the stadium, everyone in this and this and this to know. We, we reach, reach out, out to you as fellow West Australians, Australians as oh, people who know that, that last, last year was a great injustice, injustice and, and one, one which, which we, we are here, here to write. And your, and your presence, presence here tonight, tonight and your presence here tonight makes this right. You are the reason why I did this with my Family, family said, said to me, Dad, Dad you, you cannot, cannot let this happen. happen. Husband, husband, you cannot, cannot let this happen. happen. It's, it's because, because of the tragedy of injustice I saw written on your faces that made this evening come true. We are back. back. Andrew Forrest there, and we'll hear more from him later on in the night. So the Fijians stand by as the Western Force just about to enter the field. We were in the rooms only a moment ago too with their coach, Tim Sampson. Take the game to these blokes. We, re we win the contact areas of this game. All right, our, pi our pillars, ball carry, we're aggressive. Second effort at contact. All right, don't give up at first contact. These blokes will shoot up and try and put a shot on you. Okay, support players, we connect quick. All right, get to the, the man with the ball. And then our groundwork. It's been a big focus area for us. We've improved out of sight with it. All right, we're aggressive on the ground. We jackknife, we get the ball back with a long place, bang, we're away. We'll catch, we'll catch these guys on the hop. Great to be able to hear that. Now, have a look at this. This is the Fiji team with a QMB dance here. It's imposing. Michael, you've stood across from this before on an international rugby field. Yeah, it is. You talk about the New Zealand Harker, but this dance is, means business, and it's uh, pretty imposing to front that. 
but I think the Western Force will be uh, fairly emotional themselves. It's a matter of keeping lid on it a little bit. Very good point. And the Western Force uh, have their own Indigenous warrior dance. Here we go now with the voice of Barry and Maguire, respected Indigenous elder. The first time we've seen this. Surprise. Don't be surprised if we see the Western Force players themselves performing that dance at some stage soon. Now, we mentioned it was a sellout. If you don't believe me, let's go outside with Daniel Lando. Thanks, guys. Yes, over 18,000 tickets for this one. The support from WA has been absolutely amazing. Like these guys behind me, they are pumped for World Series rugby action. And I tell you what, the Sea of Blue, the four supporters, have come out in so much support tonight. The Fiji Warriors should be intimidated, but uh, at the end of the day, we're here to watch some great rugby action and launch a new era. Thanks, Dan. Well, we're just about ready to go. It's rugby, but not as you know it. It's even better than that. It's World Series rugby. It's the Fiji Warriors against the Western Force. Ashley Morrison is calling the action for us. Ash. Well, thanks very much. It is going to be rugby like you've never seen it before. And it's going to be a spectacular night here at NIB Stadium. Ian Fry, the captain. We're going to go down and be right inside, up close and personal, and hear what he says to the players. Uh, we're about to get things underway. They say that rugby is a game they play in heaven, but rest assured, with World Series rugby, you're going to be given a glimpse of heaven every time the Western Force play. With the new rules in place, power tries, where if they run from the 22, all the way the length of the pitch it will be worth seven points and if converted it's nine we're underway fielded and grabbed straight away brilliant play initially from rodney iona but he was in front of the man as it was not forward so offside so fiji will have to just wait and see whether they go i think they're going to go straight for the poles mosesi Voka, the captain of fiji fiji warriors He's played in Australia, and they say he stops guys dead in their tracks, Masosi Voka. So just look out for him when the tackles come. And the team just being carried on now. So this will be a really good start for Fiji if they can get three points on the board. I did not expect with almost the very first play of the match. Wonderful scenes around NLB Stadium. There really is, it's not a sea of blue, it's an ocean of blue. Just looking between the posts. Strikes it well. The flags, though, stay down. Well, oh, Michael, what a start. Yeah, well, all the excitement built up there, and that was uh, probably got to the kicker there. I mean, just pushed it right um, off the off the tee. Perfect conditions, not a breath of wind. Perfect conditions, you know, great temperature, big crowd in. No excuses to miss that. Relatively easy kick, actually. So the 22 drop out from the force, just left under there by Tuise. Uh, breaking forward, but it's a knock forward. Jordan Way, the referee tonight, comes from Queensland. It's going to be a testing evening for him as well as he has to adjust to the new rules. Just getting lost there by Albert Tuisua. Tuisua is another player I think is one to look for. He's a very strong runner. And talking to their coaching staff, they use the word fierce. And I think most of the Fijians are fierce. Michael, the new rules with the scrums, well, this is part of making it faster. The ref's going to get involved. He's going to have a lot to say. Yes, and they're from, does. From, uh, from the moment he marks the scrum, they've got a minute to complete it. 
So uh, it's a matter of getting form, forma the formation quickly, getting it packed and getting on with it. So this is his first go at it. And if he, they take over a minute? Well, then the referee gives a free kick and it, you can't scrum again. You've got to go. Great. Now, this is what World Series Rugby is about. We want it to be fast and furious and, and get moving. Uh, it's been argued too much dead time in the game. This is trying to change that and improve that. Well, it's a bit of a mess anyway, but the ball's out. It is indeed as Deegan goes to the boot, kicks it long. Just one man's will really it go to touch. Almost getting on the end of it. Brilliant run on the flank from Rocket Rod Davies. Well, what a first touch that would have been. Wonderful reading of the game by Andrew Deegan there, young fly half. Finding space in behind the Fijian uh, defensive line. And that'll get them thinking twice, actually, about you know whether they're coming up really quickly. But lovely little turnaround there. It's unlucky, just missed the bounce. Line out taken well at the front by Ratuiva. I think it was. I'm not sure whether he felt that there was an obstruction in the line out, so it will be another scrum. Looks like it a force ball. So there he is, marking the scrum there. Referee Jordan Wayne marking the scrum. So we've got about a minute. The first scrum was a bit of a mess, I must say, that his front row was pointing in all sorts of directions. Looked like a compass. <laughs> it's worth saying uh, at this time, by Michael, and you're aware the Western Force have been in training only since March. This happened so fast, as we said pre-match. Uh, you were involved with Andrew Forrest getting this going just 12 months ago. Everything has happened so fast. It has truly been amazing. Uh, good ball again for the force. Brack, he steps off his left. He's snared, though, by one of the Fijians. They're trying to keep the ball up and make it available for Pryor. Does indeed. Good hands coming out to Lee Warner. Again, it's the force who recycle the ball quickly. They're inside the 22. Can they get early points? Tessman avoids the first challenge. It's going to be taken to ground eventually at the second there attempt by Fiji. Fiji have stolen it. Brilliant work by the Suk hooker, Veramua Malua. Well, how did he get his hands on that? And now they look to break forward. Over. This is where Fiji are very dangerous. Oh, oh Rocket Rod Davis. That's his second chance that he's had a go there. Almost an intercept. Fiji dangerous there. And that's where they started that... that uh, movement from inside their 22 which is the power play yep um, the power try and we saw the green light on the bottom of the post uh illuminate but there's rod yep. Yep. so that the power try is a seven point try as opposed yep. to the normal five if it starts yep, sure. in your own 22 well. and to encourage fast play take on the opposition yeah but it also means an increased risk in rugby in normal terms, you know, in your own 22, you tend to look to get out of there and play the game in the opposition's territory. But with the out of incentive of extra points for taking that risk, what it does do is create um, more movement in play, but also, you know, the opposition can really defend there and turn the ball over in a really good attacking position. It is so exciting, isn't it? And great pitches that we've seen there. Spoke to John McKee, the Fijian coach during the week, spent some serious time with Tim Sampson of late, and both coaches are playing for that. Binding on three, that three, binding on. It's risk reward and they want the reward. Exactly, exactly. Touched. And Fiji play like this anyway. You know, they're great rugby sevens players, as we oh. know. They've got great skills, etc. Trouble there, Ash, but out well, of it. They did indeed. It was good hands in the end from Pryor as he was snared, got the ball to Bracky, now driving forward once more. Lee Warner takes it into contact for the force. Pryor at half-back, good quick ball given out. Tevin Ferris getting into the action. This is his first game as a professional player, Tevin Ferris. Born in New Zealand, but grew up in Rockingham, just south of Perth. In fact, Mandra played for the Mandra Pirates. Force being forced across the field at the moment. Great defensive play by Fiji. Great recycling. Deegan again. A little couple of steps. Finds Bracky. Bracky goes to the foot boot. Breaking forward. Trying to get there is Chris Heiberg. Well, did he take the man without the ball? Crowd. Big oo from them. But it will be Fiji ball. And they get the chance to reset and launch another attack. A little bit of a gap. Looking to run through. That was their big prop to Wake. Who's played a bit of sevens, I believe. Yeah, I think all of their players yeah, probably play sevens. Yes. 
It was interesting. I was reading about one of the players, Michael, and he was saying that he couldn't play. He played sevens initially. That was Boca, the number seven for them. And he said when they didn't have a ball, they used a bottle and just <laughs> played with that. Great hands again. Rodney Iona stepped off his left, steps again, drilled into the ground. Brilliant tackle coming from Atunaisa. Again, we see driving forward is Heiberg. Peter Grant in it, fly half. Lovely hands being shown by oh. the number four, Fergus Lee Warner. Well, the crowd are really getting behind their team here. It's a fantastic atmosphere. Well, it's a crack of pace at this stage. Some good skills on hand. And I'm interested to see Peter Grant is playing 15 today, normal position at 10, but with Andrew Deegan uh, playing at 10. Um, you know, they're move, moving it around, so it's very difficult to defend against. It's been pretty frenetic pace so far, I must say, and you know, particularly the force, this is their first game, so there's going to be a little bit of rust, but also, you know, you're so keen to get out there, you've been training for six weeks, you know, running around the pitch and all that sort of thing, to actually get a competitive game under your belt, you want to do everything you get the first time you get the ball. OK, well, let's take this uh, opportunity with a quick break and play to introduce you to someone else who will be part of our commentary team going forward in this World Series. He didn't pass his fitness test this week, but he'll be with us next week. He did a bit of work this week, though. Hello, my friends. Pete Rosethorn here. Came out of my enforced day in the jungle a few weeks ago, and I, I wanted something fresh, something new, something exciting, something I've never seen before. Where do I find World Series rugby? Where is it in my town? And do I know anything about the game? Do I know anything about rugby? No. Am I here to find out? Yes, with my new friends, the Fijian Rugby Squad. Let's get it on, people. Let's go. It's fresh. A couple of new rules in the game. Can you tell me what they are, Bill? First one is the one minute scrum rule. One minute scrum, what does that mean, Bill? So the referee gives the mark where the infringement takes place. Yes. So the scrum, so the one minute applies to when the ball gets in. Gets thrown in. It has to be out the back within a minute. Within a minute. Okay. Yeah. Do they still have a thing where they pick someone up? Well, they'll do that to you after this. They're going to do it to me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Does that, does that hurt, Bill? Does that hurt? Um, not for the guy that's jumping, but maybe for the guy that's lifting. But in your case, it, 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 it would be a breeze for them. I was a dancer. <laughs> yeah. I was a dancer, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no doubt about him. No doubt about him, Pete Rose. And we'll hear more from him later on. And here is a line out, Ash. Right on. Good. It was a good kick forward by the force from a penalty. And they're up to the 22 again. Can they get some points? Deegan with his hands on the ball. Peter Grant was right. He's going to go all the way wide. Stepping off his left foot, but he just couldn't get in there. Unfortunately, Brad Lacey looking to try and get his first points for the force. And again, they've held up just short of the line. Spinning the ball. Fijian defence is standing firm at the moment. The crowd are really trying to get behind the men in blue. Again, superb defence by Fiji, just keeping them at bay at the moment. Pryor barking the orders at the back of the pack. Moving in at half-back is Harrison right Lloyd. Right in front of the post, yes, Pryor there right. directing traffic to his right-hand side. Pick and drive, though, on the blind side. It's still with the force. They just need to get the ball. There's an advantage to the force here as well, so they might as well have a go. Pryor spins it. Deegan is going to go wide. Right. It's the first try for the force. Marcel Bracky gets the five points. An historic night. An historic moment, Marcel, the first try scorer in World Series Rugby. We'll get to the conversion in a moment, but let's try and get to Marcel. Let's hear about it. 5-0, Western Force, Fiji. Marcel, how about that? The first try World Series Rugby, how did it feel? Oh, just about caught it, so <laughs> pretty stoked that I got over, but that was just mainly to the forwards. Great work around, um, and just uh, us back, just being able to finish what the forwards gave to us. Awesome, mate. Keep it up. Thanks, Marcel. How about that? Straight out there to Marcel, and this is how it happened, Michael Liner. Yeah, very good. They're, they had a penalty advantage there, so they had the opportunity to take um, the attack. Egan once again in behind. Very good pass from, I think it was Rod uh, there. Rod Davies did a very good... Oh, yes, he almost <laughs> dropped it, didn't he? Jeez, he wasn't wrong. I'm very pleased for Marcel to go over there. He's a very enthousi enthusiastic man, big part of this squad, and one of the leaders there. And, uh, that's a great start for the Western Force. First time they've been down there. Peter Grant now with a conversion attempt for the Western Force. 
wide out on the right hand side difficult angle but he's got the sea of blue behind him willing it through the post it's high enough it's straight enough and he's got the two points it is the western force seven the bg warriors nil And what a start, Michael Liner. We talked about it. We hoped it would happen, and it just did. It did. Magnificent. Great try, but also, what a kick from Peter Grant. I mean, it couldn't have been any more in the middle. It's just a wonderful striker of the ball. But it's interesting on this, you know, we, we talk about the rule changes and, you know, trying to play hide, wide and handsome and all that sort of thing, but there's still a place <laughs> for the big men up front to take those hard yards. It is a great game for lots of reasons, and that was one of them. No worries. Force thanks. now on Just the blind confirm, side. We're going to do that after every single try. Just Alcott. Tessman grabbed and thrown to the ground by Vokka. Deegan, brilliant hands picking that up. Michael, you'd know all about grabbing those around your ankles. <laughs> yeah, Nick Farjones used to throw a few of those. He's listening. He's Sorry, watching. Nick. Sorry, mate. No, you didn't. <laughs> Deegan looking for space again. He has indeed, and the bats might favour him. It does indeed, but quick reaction from Fiji. And Chona Mani with a really good tackle. He's celebrating his birthday today, They're off. the number 10 for Fiji. Rod Davies thrown to the ground. He almost got round the outside. The Rockhampton Rocket. Jordy, I'm just going to shoulder charge by 9-1. Slow to get to his feet. Uh, hey, Russ. Cyril Reese. There's Heath Tessman there. He's already taken a lot of carries at Heath. Um, a bit of a stalwart around the place. But once again, a bit like Marcel Bracky, you know, real leader in this squad. He's been around a bit, Heath, and uh, there we yellow go, yellow card. card. Yeah, yellow card issued to Cerro Vularica, the scrum half. So World Series Rugby Ash is about explaining this wonderful sport to a lot of people that may not have seen it before. Why the yellow cap? I'm not sure. I didn't actually see the offence, to be honest. So there must have been something. Certainly there was so talking the from ball. the fourth players on the ground. Whether he was just preventing the ball coming out or there was a little bit of afters on the ground. I'm not too sure. It's hard to see on the far side. Yeah, I think he might have been. The referee way there was just indicating that he may have been holding a player back or tackled without the ball i didn't see it live either here, here we go here. here we go oh yeah number nine there oh yeah probably marcel brackey was quick to call it a big advantage here for the force Missing a halfback, very difficult to defend off a scrum five metres out when you haven't got a halfback on the right hand side. Pryor at the back, gets good ball again, gets it to Iona. Iona stepped off his left foot, managed to avoid one tackle, taken down in the second, still available for the force. Pryor just pops the pass, it's a good one to Lee Warner. Lee Warner, though, just held up about a metre short of the line. Can the force get a second try? They're so close, diving over the top. Ooh. I think he's, I think got, he's there. got there. Just wanting to check the referee, Jordan White. But that was some dive coming from Johan Bardul. Bardul is... Oh, he got there? There it is there. I think you've got to give that Bardul like an NFL player diving over the scrummage. So they wait and they wonder and they prepare for both scenarios, but I think they share the confidence. Michael, tell us about uh, it. This is, there it is. He hasn't got it down yet. Whether that's just his second movement there, I think it probably is, but... What would your call be? I'd give him a try. Yeah. Man, <laughs> Perth. Hey, he wears Perth and he's wearing blue. The home crowd, you reckon? <laughs> well, if it was in AFL I circles, it would yeah. be a try. Ash, there it is. It's on the board. It's a try. The Western Force score again. 12 points to nil in the very early stages of this one. Fabulous football. It is indeed. Johan Bardul, his first try for the force. His nickname is Yogi. And while well, you'd have to say that play was smarter than the average bear. Uh, gosh. OK, be honest, how long you've been working? I love it, but how long were you working on that, Ash? I've always been a Yogi Bear fan. <laughs> if he'd have dropped it, it would have been a boo-boo.
<laughs> You've got to stop. Uh, yeah. Michael, what's happening here? Tell us through what's going through the mind. Well, given that it's right in front, you'd be going through. Don't miss it. <laughs> He's not going to miss it from there, old Peter Grant. He's a very reliable man. That's a really interesting try there by Bandul because with the number nine off the pitch, um, Vularika off the pitch. Yes. It's, you know, that may be where he was sort of standing in behind the ruck there just to protect those sort of areas. And they're very good read there, just going straight over the top. And as we've said, you know, it's not all about playing high, wide and handsome. There's still a role for these big men to pick and go up the guts. Particularly when a man down. Yep. Who normally would control the defence around that sort of region, being the halfback. So Fiji starting to get a little bit of mountain in front of them at the moment. They are indeed the restart grabbed though by Deegan. Finds Iona again. He steps off his left foot. Seems to like to cut infield off his left foot. Rodney Iona prior. Ooh, oh, what a hit. That was absolutely barreling into the ground. And this is a power try. on here. It is indeed great break forward from Harrison Lloyd for the force. No longer. It has to be one straight movement. One clean, clear movement of the ball. Badul to Marcel Bracky, the two try scorers. Oh, nice step. Bracky off the left foot. Taken into contact again. It's good drive from Fiji. They've stolen it. Brilliant play by the men in white. That's one of Fiji's great strengths is their just explosive power at the breakdown. You talked about the force getting ready. Fiji had four days in camp before they came here. They arrived on Monday. And this is a young side. They're preparing for the Junior okay, World Cup in a couple of years. So a lot of players under 25, under 23, rather. Do we get a look at that again on replay banks? Yeah. Heavy hitting. I did, as I say, Michael, speak to... The coach, John McKee, the, the, the Kiwi coaching Fiji um, earlier in the week, and he said there are at least three players that will be in the Fijian World Cup squad, at least three and probably six, and those other three sort of know who they are. So this is their stage. It is. It's absolutely a huge chance for them to impress on the coach their credentials. A lot of them wanting to really further their careers. So there's no better way to do that than actually putting it out on the field when it matters. Rod Davies there, just uh, looks like a lower back issue. He's all right, so we can move on with play and the line out. So again, this is going to be taken quickly. It's similar to the scrums here. As soon as you're ready to go, you can throw it in. You don't need the opposition to be there. And you've got a minute to get it over and done with. Lineouts tend to be a little bit of a lesser problem than the scrums, I think, because they did, very rarely do they get reset. But Fiji won that nicely and made some good ground over the advantage line. Did indeed, and now they're looking to spin the ball. The fullback getting involved, and Alele Malele. That's a wild pass, oh. but he's caught it on the bounce. Brilliant reaction and great pace at which he hit the ball. Stolen though, and. It, Penalty given to Fiji, not yeah. releasing in the tackle, I think, was the call. Yeah. This is where the force have done well to, at, to date, is to keep the possession off Fiji. Poor kick there. Peter Grant put this back with some interest. That was a terrible kick. Now Fiji, though, on halfway. Ball to Malele. Malele looking to just go across and find a gap in the middle. Taken to Grant. Fiji get the chance to set and go again. Very good defensively, Warner. They're very good steppers. In at half back is the birthday boy, Chona Manu. Again, they've taken it into contact. Manu goes the blind side once more. Fiji gain another three or four metres. And they've got the players lined up on the open side as taken into contact was Tawake. Here's a chance if they look to spin the ball and move it quickly. Vera Malua out there comes out to the winger. Didi Diki Diki Latte. He's taken the ground. At the moment, good defense by the force, just spreading out across the pitch, not allowing Fiji oh, to gain blew. any momentum or any ground. Manu again spins it. This time it goes to the big number four, Ratuva, who takes it into contact. Fullback getting involved again, Malele. He was the man who started this passage of play for Fiji. 
Again, the force standing firm, keeping the man up tackle. in the air in the tackle. That's tackle. good play by the force Release defense, through. eventually driven to Grand. Manu again goes the blind side, and that's oh. just thrown wildly into touch tackle. by Malele. It's good ball retention there by Fiji, particularly a man down. It's much easier to have the ball in hand when you're a man down and make the opposition do to the defending. But expect they might have another sh shot at gold here. Full house here at NIB Stadium. Look at those shots from above. Absolutely brilliant. They said it couldn't be done. Well, have a look at this stadium. It is almost a sea of blue. Well, what do I know? Man has got, man has gone to touch. Oh, jeez. Who kept that in with some acrobatics? It was a spectacular play, but I, don't, I think Deegan's not thank him very much for that. It's Rod Davies. Oh, oh, wonderful blue, play, yeah, but then he can get smacked pretty hard here. Certainly did a great tackle by Atunaisa. Atunaisa, very interesting. He'd never been on a plane before this game. This was his first time, and apparently he was absolutely terrified as they left Nandy. <laughs> And Not flying say. Qantas, obviously, because if you were, he would have been 100% sure that everything was going to work, Ash. But what an experience. Apparently, he's been looking Coach. around Perth with his eyes open, just cannot believe it. Boys. Never seen a building above four stories till he got to Nandi. Comes from the Highlands in Fiji. But this is a great chance for Fiji to get their first points on the board. They're looking for a drive in the scrum. Manu is at half-back because the scrum half is Simbin. Malele looks for a gap, almost gets through it. Good defence again from the force. Manu with quick ball, manages to spin it. Voka, Voka spins around, but he's held back, driven back by the force. And the crowd really love it, getting behind. Now a drive from Towake. Towake, five metres short for Fiji. Can they get some points? A pick up and drive at the back from Ratuba. Ratuba, though, drove him back and... It's going to be a penalty to Fiji. They want the ball quickly and want to play on quickly. Yeah, there was, a, there was an advantage from the scrum, so I think the referee is just asking would they prefer the, the penalty over where the scrum was or here. I don't think it makes much difference. They're both about the same distance from the sideline and the, and the goal line, so they've opted for it here, and I think they're going for a scrum. Their scrum was quite solid last one. It looked quite powerful. Fiji. Certainly did. What's to say, Jordan Way, of course, um, Bark's instructions all over the place, and we've been able to drop in on those and we'll continue to do so throughout the night. It's magnificent to be able to, to bring that to us and the quality of special commentary we're getting alongside from Michael Liner as some running repairs there for Heath Tessman, the vice captain of the Western Force. Yeah. I think Jordan Way has done quite a good job to date. Um, he seems to have been fairly firm, yet allowed the game to flow, so he's done very well. What about the captain there, Ian Pryor? We saw as the vice captain's getting some treatment. How big a job is it for Ian, who's uh, first time captain, very proud to have the job, and geez, a professional athlete. Yeah, he's a very experienced guy. He's just had a stint over at Harlequins over in the UK. And uh, from all reports over there, the Harlequins team and players and the coaching staff liked him over there. Very popular member of the squad. There he is there. I'd imagine he would be telling his forwards to push a lot harder than they did in the last scrum. <laughs> very technical stuff like that. He's all business, Ian. He really is. He's Ash, I think he uh, may well be uh, in the World Cup if Zimbabwe is going to make it. Um, he's not a dual citizen, but he, he spent some time there, born here, but um, they'll take him. I'm sure they would. Mm. It's been a while, I think, since Zimbabwe were there. I think 87 would be probably the last time Zimbabwe were at the World so Cup. Do you think we'll see Ian in the World Cup? Probably not. He, he, he's going to be part of trying to get there anyway. Well, they've certainly got some talent. There was an article written about how many players from... Zimbabwe are playing four Crunch. other nations at the moment, so the talent is definitely there, but this is Points. a scrum for Fiji. Great Still looking for their first points. Set. Still a man down. Ball goes in. That's a better scrum by the force there. Very good drive. scrum. Tuisa picks it up in one hand, drives, taken to the ground by Tevin Ferris. Good tackle by the new boy for oh, the force. Blue. Needed Fiji's to be. It's needed to be a good tackle by Ferris. Just going off the blind, open side, a pick and drive, but 
Ball comes again, little step. They've not gained any metres at all. Oh, the back where they started, just a couple of metres to the left-hand side. Manu again giving instructions to the players outside of him. Taken to ground again, good defence from the force. This time they go to the backs. It's going to be a hard one. Coming around on the loop was Maleli. Fiji forced backwards. Manu will go the blind side. Hasn't got many numbers, and the force had plenty of support there to cover what very Fiji were going to throw. Very good defence from the force today. They're getting off their line very, very quickly and not allowing Fiji to get any momentum. It was a good read by Davies as well, coming in. And it's been stolen. Tui Sua was the man who took it in, but it'll be the force who come up with it. Deegan gets one over his head, spins it out wide now. Alcock goes to the boot. That's not going to go out of play. Fielded really well, running backwards by Diki Diki Latte. Diki Diki Latte gets it up to the 10 metre line. Force though, again, there in numbers. Fiji players obviously finding the pace of this game really quite difficult. Ash, I'm not sure what I'm more impressed with, your Yogi Bear line or the uh, Fiji number 14, <laughs> who you have certainly nailed. Um, and uh, he and his teammates yep. were, were nailed there. We're getting some great images, uh, the, the bird's eye view or the, the worm-like view uh, from ground level. It's just great. And then there's the opposite again. Well, you can't see it enough. Uh, a full house here at NIB Stadium. Over 18,500 tickets uh, were provided for this game. to see? So many people are coming out and supporting the team. Just wonderful to see. And again, some running repairs. And the rolling subs, if I can, Michael Lono, for a moment. There we are, World Series Rugby. It's about lots of things. And the rolling subs were hopefully going to be one of those things. Now, it didn't get up this time, but the, you and Andrew Forrest, I have no doubt, will continue to work at it. So it would mean that these running repairs this injury time wouldn't occur the player would come off and be able to come back on yeah um you, you you're, you're hopeful that that will yeah i think come so i mean i think with the rolling subs there you know it, i think there just needs to be a little bit more um information research into um, player welfare whether it's a good thing or it's a bad thing for that um i just think we probably just didn't have enough time but it's something we'll continue to talk about um, with uh, Rugby Australia and World Rugby. Um, so I'm hopeful that that will, that will happen going forward. I actually think it would benefit um, players if they get tired or a little bit of a knock or something, they can come off, get recuperate, recuperate and then get back on. So I actually think it sort of moves the game and keeps it going very quick. Sure. Ash, I think the Fijians were happy that there was no rolling sub there. They needed a rest. I think you're absolutely correct. And, of course, they are playing with just the 14 men at the moment, but Vularika has about a minute left, by my estimations, on the side before he'll be allowed back here on. I, th I think he's back on, man. So he's already got on. Yeah, he is. He's snuck up under your, Indeed. Snuck under your eagle eye vision there. There you go. I think he's only done nine minutes. Anyway, yeah, the ball's they... breaking forward. Bracky with the ball. <laughs> Lovely kick ahead. Lacey gives chase, but good footwork from Malele. Driven back by Lacey. Very the good ball's tackle. over the top again. Very good. Penalty for the Western Force. Bracky wanting to get on with it quickly. He's hungry for more tries. <laughs> Swear. The force defence so far has been very good. You, you cannot afford to miss your first up tackles against Fiji. And the force have definitely made those, and that was a very, very good example just there. So Peter Grant kicks into the corner for the line out just to get the force that little bit closer to the Fijian try line. This will be soul destroying for them. They got so close to the force try line, and now they find themselves on the defensive again. That's the difference. Peter Grant makes the touch on the five yard line. Fiji have had two two chances and missed both both touches. And there is another try for the force. A great turn from the back of the line. Oh, oh. And it is Brian Standup who gets the third for the force. Score if. So 19-0, Fiji Western Force, the force. Well, they're really coming. Down to Danny now. Brainard, how about that? Your first try of the match. What did it feel like? Uh, amazing feeling. The crowd really got behind us. Really got us up to go all out for that move. It was a planned move all week. It came off. 
good good work. Take care. Thanks, Bernard. Two, one, Q on. So Western Force now power to a 19-nil lead. You can see less than 27 minutes gone in this first half. The action. Fast and furious it certainly was. They are coming from all angles and now for the conversion. This is a harder kick, Michael Liner. Yeah, it's um but he's been striking the ball in the two that he's had so far. One one easy and one quite difficult from the other side. So he's struck it very nicely so far. Grant, he's a very accomplished goal kicker. And he strikes it well and it comes around beautifully between the posts. So Peter Grant on fire tonight for the force. 21 points to nil. She just mentioned that Alifaleti Kaitu is on as Hooker Heath Testament going off. And Danielle Orlando is down boundary side. She has an injury update for us. Yeah, guys, we've got our vice captain Heath Tessman for the force down here with a tight hamstring issue. Uh, not too major at this stage. He's just up on the treadmill, and we have uh, Alifaleti Katui that just went on for him. So uh, we'll let you know shortly uh, how serious that is. Deegan feels the restart inside the 22, goes to the boot. Won't find Tapt. Manu off his chest. And is it going to be a knock forward? I think it might have gone out for the line out. And the referee's going to play that. No, he's actually gone for the knock forward. So scrum to the force on the 10 metre line. Uh, it's all going to the force at the moment, isn't it? Well, Fijians try to catch a breath. It's happening so fast for them. As we've discussed a couple of times, this is part of the World Cup preparation coming here, flying in late. The airports, they're staying in hotels and different rooms and training each day. They've trained really, really hard. Then you can't simulate match day and the pressures Five, that you feel coming up against a, an organisation like this. Six, and Michael, Lone, as you've mentioned a couple of times, this Western Force team is very well organised. It is. They've come together very well. I mean, they've only been together a short period of time, but they seem to be clicking very nicely. Certainly, Iona and Deegan combining brilliantly there. Deegan taken to Grant. The force, though, have got numbers in support. Here he is, Stander again, hands off one. Takes two Fijians to take him down. Ball early to Pryor. Good driving run once more. Tawaki with a good tackle. Pryor to Deegan. Jumping as he receives it is Iona. Bracky, Rocket Davis outside. Rod Davis absolutely barreled into the turf. What a tackle from the Fijians. Still alive, though, for the oh. force. Quick hands. Now just lost in the tackle. Fiji look to pounce quickly, but they're going to have the scrum for the knock forward. You could feel that. You could feel it in this stadium. Yeah. Vula Rica, I think it was the number nine that did that tackle. It was huge. He's had a bit of a rest on the sideline. He certainly makes up for it here. Bang. Look at that. Poor old Rocket. Yeah, backwards. <laughs> he, had, he had the engines put in reverse there, didn't he? <laughs> and then he exploded the rocket, didn't it? Oh. He's and been involved, in old thrust. Davis, hasn't he? He's been really got involved tonight. Let's put that in perspective. It, it, it is 19 nil the scoreline, not 21 nil as we mentioned earlier. 19 nil the scoreline. But Fiji was crowned the Pacific Challenge champions for the third successive time in in March this year. This is not a bad team. Yeah. Uh, they've just come up against an organisation. Talk about the energy, and we have Ouch. a lot. But the, the boys in blue, they are riding it, aren't they? Yeah, there's, well, there's 18,000 plus people here trying Six. to wish them along, all wearing blue, etc. I mean, but they've controlled that emotion and all that energy very, very well. Force on the attack again, Iona, good hands, feeds Peter Grant, Peter Grant again, full of Rika, absolutely smashing him, ball lost forward, but the referee's arm is up, Peter Grant though, flat out on the turf. Yeah, I think he's been knocked here, yeah, the head hitting the ground, it's not good for Peter there, hopefully he'll be okay, yeah. referee stopping the game there. It is. A wonderful sport. It is a brutal sport, and that's why we love it so much. And occasionally, 
that happened. So it wasn't in the tackle. It was as we see so often in professional sport, all sorts of sports these days, because these athletes go so, so hard. They are just fast and furious. And when they go down, the head can sometimes hit the turf with disastrous effects. It's, yeah, it's just never good. Very hit from the side there, very awkwardly. And as he's going down, it's a perfectly legal tackle. But as he's going down, he um, just knocks his head on the ground. And it's not, it's not nice to see. Hopefully he'll be OK. So we know one thing, Michael, you know, the very best medicos are out there. Uh, the stretcher you assume will go out there in just a moment to Peter Grant, but he's getting the very best of medical attention there. And the ref, actually, let's have a listen in. Yeah, explaining that the, the, the tackle was was fair, as you said. Yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, but it's that's important. Awkward. That's really good to see that to go to the Fijians and explain that because at a moment like this, they're not in a good space either. No, no, it's going to take a little bit of time as well, and this is where the, the teams have to get together and make sure that they cope with any differences, particularly with the force there. They're going to have um, substitutes coming on, etc. So keep their momentum going talked about leadership Ian Pry getting his team together very quickly and Ash um, we see Clay Uren come on to the field now he's joined the huddle at least he has indeed Clay Ewan well he was a man who was heading over east when he got the call from Matt Hodgson to come back apparently it was a really bad line on the nullarbor came back turned around he was going to try and find a club on the east coast to pursue his rugby hopes and now he's back in Western Australia playing for the force. He's out there. He'd wish he was under better circumstances. Peter Grant, nicknamed Bash, and he was given that nickname at Stellenbosch when he was at university there, and his coach said if he kept tackling the way he did, he was never going to have a career in rugby, and this time it's actually a tackle on him that's uh, caused the problems. Mm. So... It's always a tough time. Again, as I say, at any sporting event, this is not exclusive to the sport of rugby union, that's for sure. But these guys just go so hard. So we'll update you on Peter's progress shortly as we have a look once again at this full house at NIB Stadium. Matt Hodgson on the big screen. We'll talk to Matt in just a moment ourselves. Um, and the Fijians now are trying to come together. They'll take a moment to regroup. And the scoreboard suggests that they've been overwhelmed, but it doesn't mean it's going to continue that way. No, and, the, you know, the Fiji are the same situation as the Force. They haven't been together that long. It's the first game of the season, so there's a bit of rust there. They've dropped a little bit of ball. But what the Force have done very well is maintained possession, and that's key against Fiji. If they start to get a lot of possession, uh, they can use it very well and tire teams out. It's game one of the World Series Rugby here in NIV Stadium here in Perth. It's the Western Force 19, Fiji nil, 31 minutes into the first half. Roll break 30. Pause. Okay, so we'll wait again and repeat the best medicos uh, dealing with Peter Grant at the moment is that there is an anticipation in the crowd. They, like us and you at home, are just wanting to make sure that everything is OK after that hit. And the Force boys, well, of course, play will continue shortly, and they're just warming themselves up. Q1. Western Force boys are out on the field. The ball's there, but they're only just keeping themselves warm here as the Medicos continue to treat Peter Grant off to the side after that very tough collision. The Fijians... They are young. And Michael, we've spoken about that. It's not their national team. It's the Fiji Warriors. Um, some of the boys will be part of the, the World Cup, but it's a big learning curve. And this is part of it too. It is actually, yeah. And they're, they're, they're very capable of scoring quick tries. And Force will be well aware of that. And that's what the, the coaches will be sending out messages to Fiji. Just get their patterns going correctly. Get some possession. They've got to get some possession. They've only had a, a, a relatively small amount of possession. If they can get some possession, get some territory, and start using that lovely skills that they have, as well as some of their big men, they can put on two or three tries pretty quickly. And I must say, I've been, I have been very impressed with the force defence. It's very well organised, and uh, it's not a surprise, given that the defensive coach for the force is Jacques Fourie, the great springbok centre who's joined the force as defensive coach but also as a player 
It's just that he hasn't played for a little while, so he's going to have a little bit of time to get the body right before he gets out there in the, in the thick, thick of it. 19 nil Western Force, Fiji, and while we wait, uh, both sides now warming themselves up. Let's go back and have a look at the, the last try. Yeah, very well worked move. Standing just around the front there and over he goes. Very poor defence in the front of the line out from Fiji and that's very well called. A good call. Pretty simple sort of move. Going to number four. Around the front. No defence. Straight over. Good try. Well worked try. Well executed. You know, it's just one of those things. A training ground move that very well executed. And here we go. Look at that. Peter with his hands. Well, one hand up, uh, applauding the crowd who were applauding him. So that's fantastic to see that he is conscious once again and he's being cared for and will be taken off the ground and will be taken to hospital for precaution straight away. And look at that. Andrew Forrest is out there talking to Peter. Look at that. Have a look at that. It's the West versus the rest. And, well, two men there that have given plenty for Western Australia tonight, that's for sure. Play now. Set to resume, and as is customary, the ball goes over the sideline as Peter Grant, too, departs the sideline. And we'll report back to you on, on the health of Peter, which what we can see right now is certainly a lot better than what may well have been. Yep. Well, another chance for the force. They've got good possession from the line. And trying a rolling ball, but Fiji bring it down. Pryor demanding possession at the back. Fijians just trying to slow things down. Pryor spins it out. Deegan looks to kick out wide. Chance for Lacey, but they ran into each other. He ran into Dicky Dicky Latte, and the <laughs> ball's eight. gone out Number of play. Now it's a penalty to the force here. I've been very impressed with uh, Deegan so far, the, the, the force uh, 10. He's, he's read the play pretty well, mixed it up quite well. He's got good depth in behind his front line. And that was a pretty well placed kick. He did play for Randwick was the leading point scorer in 2016 for them in the shoot shield, Andrew Deegan. So the force have opted for a scrum as they look to pile on more points before the half-time break. Eight minutes away from half-time, leading by 19 points to nil. It's a big, it should be a big try if they get, get over here, the force, really, just before half-time. It's, it's a big, big moment. Set. You would think... Stander might pick up the number eight and go the blind side. At the moment, Fiji holding firm. It's a really good shove. The ball comes out the back prior to Deegan. Deegan offloads it. Iona, it's just run loose. And Fiji scrambling again. It's a bit scrappy, just short of the line. Force have still got it. Prior short pass, driven forward again by Heiberg. Chris Heiberg, it comes out the back. Prior, quick ball. Bracky was there. Deegan spins it wide now. Rod Davis just snared by Vularika. One hand on the leg. He still managed to gain a few metres for the force. Comes again. Tevin Ferris takes it into contact. He's driven back with interest. Prior goes the short side once more for the force. And it's going to be... Just running across yeah. the man with the ball, obstruction. So Fiji can ease the pressure now with a good kick to touch. Better defence by Fiji, a little bit more aggressive in the tackle and uh, it's a little bit of miscommunication. One of the first times we've seen it from the force there with a little bit of crossing that the referee picked up. This kick's made touch. Fiji up almost now to halfway. I would love it if they could get some points on the board before the half-time break. They deserve to. They, they deserve to score, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they've just got to put, put some play, play together. Both of those look forward to me, but play on. That's why you're up here. That's right. I can't <laughs> see. <laughs> Manu looks to escape the challenge of Deegan. Sets the ball up. Vularika goes to the boot. It goes high. Doesn't get many metres forward. Force under a little bit of a problem there, but Dicky Dicky Lati looked as if he knocked it forward. Picked up though by Manu. Very fast feet from him, but no ground gained. Vularika spins it now. Force were a little bit short on that side, but they've again defended superbly. Manu misses them out, spins it out wide. That's what we like to see, the ball in one hand, but the pass was not good. Maybe you should have behind had it the mark, too. Behind the mark. <laughs> 
Absolutely. Rarasaya trying the old flamboyant Fijian rugby. He's a big man, Rarasaya, isn't he? Boy. Very athletic. Another of those uh, lineups that uh, Peter Rose Thorn told us about. We might see Peter uh, trying his hand at that in, in the not too distant future. You mentioned that, Michael. He's six foot five, Rarasaya, so he is a very big unit. As he bursts through the ruck, good hands again from Tevin Ferris. Feeds it to Deegan. Deegan goes to the boot. Dicky Dicky Latte coming back, feels it well. You love that name, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it, that's his name, <laughs> as Malele breaks forward. Oh. He's taking that inside, he's 22. This is better from Fiji, oh. they just need to, that look to forward pass, but they're driving Goal on, 16. a good drive from the captain, Voka. Mularika, he only was grabbed Hands round the blue. ankle and he was pulled into the ruck. Manu, short little pass from him. Again, as they look to set it forward, just came loose for Fiji. They just can't break those first tackles. They're very strong, the force, on their tackles. Now, the power tries on here, the seven-point tries on here, because this play began in their own 22. So what a way for Fiji to score if they can do this. So the, the green lights are on if yep. they can make it all the way and put the ball underneath the uprights. Maintain that possession there. Just can't get that first tackle break. Spun wide now by Maui. The prop he's going to pick up and clean up. So the lights are still flashing. It's still alive for Fiji. If they can get a score here, they get two bonus points. The try worth seven points. And if they convert, then obviously it's nine. Good. Oh, what a pass. Here they come. What a pass off the ground that was from Ray Lala. They're almost up to the 22, and a penalty's been awarded, so the lights go out, they go red. No chance of the power try. But a chance, maybe, for three points. Or will they kick for touch? I think they'll go for touch. And as they do go for touch, I can give you an update, and pleased to say I'm Peter Grant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's in the rooms, and he's OK. Yes, he was knocked out. He was unconscious as we get a look at the replay here. But not too long ago, uh, the replay looked a lot worse than that. So he's talking to the doctors, he's moving his neck, and they're just checking him out. But in essence, all's as good as it could possibly be. Fantastic news. Chance now for Fiji to score. Good work by Ray Lala in the line-out. Vularika at the back, waiting. It's going to be a pick and drive, though, by the forwards. Driving forward, Maui. Now it's Vularika. Again, gives it off to Voka. Voka held up. Voka, though, good power in his legs, driving towards the line. Got over the five-metre line. Vularika goes the blind side. Little offload coming off, and it was good run from Atanaisa. Atanaisa stopped again, and they try a little pop pass, and it's gone out into touch. Yeah, that's um, a deliberate knockdown, they're calling that. Not in a realistic position to catch. Jordan Way, the referee, deliberate knockdown. So Fiji get another chance. Two minutes to go before half time. It's quite a crucial moment in the game, this. I think Fiji are not happy about something. They're talking to Jordan Way. They're asking for a yellow card for a deliberate knockdown in a try scoring situation there. And they kick for touch. Vera Malua walks forward. This is a good chance for Fiji to get some points before the half-time break. They need to execute well in the line-out. Remember, there is a time there. They've got to move it quickly. Again, they throw, and it's taken by Ray Lala. Picked off the back, driving short again by about a metre. The support is there for Fiji. The forward's hungry for a try. Just a quick offload again. This time, it's Ratuba who's denied. Great defence from the force. Oh, Pick and he drive dropped again that. from Vera Malua. And he has dropped it, as Michael Liner said, and it will be a force scrum. And no wonder the force are high-fiving. Brilliant defence again from the men in blue. I think it was Vodka there that went for a pick and drive and just caught, just caught the foot in front of him, I think. Let's see it here. Is it Vokka that comes in? No, it's... Vera Malua. Yep. Yeah, it's the hooker. Vera Malua. So interesting now, as the 
What's the issue? The siren. No, they're going to have the scrum. They've got to have yeah, the scrum now. Looking, and uh, it We're will be an opportunity if the force get the ball for a power drive from, from this <laughs> position. And there's no risk-reward here because when they lose it, they, that's it. So they can really have a go. And some... There we are. But well, unless Fiji get it and score, then there's a bit of risk there. <laughs> I think they might be heading to the heading to the sheds. Yeah, I think Jordan Way's just called time. Uh, you're right. So that's it. So that's it. No, they are going. Jordan is. Yeah, it's a scrum. They've got to have the scrum. It was called before. I thought so. Uh, yeah. But this is where Fiji. They've had a little bit of, I think, just a little bit of advantage in the scrum. They'll they'll be really. Trying to put a lot of pressure on the force scrum here, and the force has got their concentration's got to be spot on. They can't be thinking Crunch. about having a drink at half time. Five. Pryor waits to put the ball Set. in. I'm sure they'll just kick for touch just to get some rest. Uh, it's a good scholar scrum from the force to Deegan, and he just puts the ball out of play, and down to the sheds they go. What a first half it's been for the Western Force as they lead Fiji Warriors by 19 points to nil. So Ian Pryor leads his team to the break. Halftime World Series Rugby is here and now and we are loving it. Welcome back to NIB Stadium, 19-0, Western Force and Fiji at halftime. We told you, Clay, you're in not the best guitarist, but a very good bloke, and we can now hear from him inside the rooms with Danny Orlando. Clay, a WA boy, I'm about to make your Force debut. How does it feel to be here at the Launch of World Series Rugby and running out with the boys? Yeah, the feeling was incredible. There's just so many people. It's hard to fathom how exciting that compares for, for a bloke like me who's sort of always wanted to do this. So, yeah, it's, it's a big day. And what are the teams saying? Has the support of WA just completely overwhelmed you guys? Oh, it's been fantastic. My phone's been going off, the Facebook, Instagram, all the family, they've been so so good to me and um, so much support. It's been awesome. Yeah, it's been great. Now, we're here down in the rooms and Wolfmother are playing outside. I hear you're a keen guitarist. We've got some action of you playing during the week. Do you kind of wish uh, in another life you may have been played up there with Wolfmother? Yeah, I mean, maybe. We ran out and I think it was Woman was playing when we ran out and I was just thinking, oh could be up there. The crowd's the same, same amount of people. So. But um, no, I'm happy I'm playing rugby tonight. Awesome. Well, we wish you all the best out there, mate. Have a great second Fantastic. half and enjoy. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. So, Clay, you're in. He's out there at fullback. We're ready to go in the second half. It's been all the Western Force in the first half. Will that change in this second half? World Series Rugby. It's live, it's fast, and it's free. Western Force get the second half underway with a good deep kick to the 22. Fiji need to get some points. Tui Sua takes it into contact for them just outside the 22. Bularika waiting for the ball. Goes to the boot. Sit high. Takes it up to halfway. Good work by Vera Malua, who was there quickly. Hooker doing a good job. But it is the force as Iona takes it straight into the big body of Tui Sua. Force go out on the other side. It's an intercept by the lock forward, Rarasir. Rarasir tackled though, but what an intercept. We were saying what a big man he was. Hasn't really got the pace, but boy, he's certainly a hard man to stop. Force though, back with possession. Lovely step. Taken to ground though. Good work by, again, it's all the second rows at the moment. Yeah, good turnover. Warner. First man over the ball. Clean very good turnover by Fiji. They're very strong at the breakdown. There's the uh, intercept. It's just those loose passes. They're not going to hand the moment for Fiji. There's another good turnover there by Lacey. Very strong in the in the tackle. Got the turnover, but then Fiji turned it back. This is where Fiji have got to really get some energy and get some enthusiasm going. They need to get some, just start breaking those first tackles. Passes have got to start yes, going to hand. 
Now they walk towards the line out. They need to get good ball and they need to move the ball as they were doing at training the other day down at Palmyra Rugby Club. Palmyra, who has palm trees on their badge, Fiji with coconut trees on theirs. Same more play. They've kept the ball up. They're going for the rolling ball. Gaining a few metres, the force really having to defend now. The ball is in the hands of Ray Lala. This is good play by Fiji. Ray Lala goes round the side. It was almost no impeded you. Felt the force player Stop. came round on the wrong side to grab his shirt, but gets away with it. Now it's Big Rara Sia again taking it forward Advantage for Fiji. Villarica, they've got the free kick if they want it in a minute. The penalty. Better Malua goes to Grant. It's a knock on, I think. No, it is a knock on, on, on the tackle, yeah. Right, yeah. The tackle released, he was the man on the ground. Bit better organisation there by knock Fiji on. from the line out. Very well positioned then. I think it was Ray Alar who went off just on his own a little bit. Prefer to stay in the in the in the in the ruck there or the mall that was driving forward. Just got a little bit excited. The light white line fever there. So really good attacking position. Now there's never a bad time to score a Scott. Oh gosh, let's start that again. There's never a bad time to uh, score a try. But this would be a particularly good one for Fiji straight after half time to bring them back into the match. Crouch! See if they can get a good hit on here in the scrum. Bularica waits to put the ball in. Free Jordan Way not happy. You heard that. Referee saying they need to hold their weight, both the teams. PG, where 80,000 registered players in a population of 950,000. So rugby, as one of the coaches said to me at training the other day, it's second only to God. Crouch! And they'll be wanting some points. Five. They won't want to go home scoreless here. Set. This is a good chance for them. Just short of the try line, comes out quickly. Bularica picks up with one hand, burst towards the line. My God. Bularica gets those points for Fiji. What an individual pickup! picked it up with one hand, drove over to the corner, no one was going to stop him. Have you ever seen a pickup like that before? That was amazing. The ball shot out of the scrum, it didn't mean to. And Bularica's just come around. Have a look at this, the ball just shoots out. Should have been trapped there by the number eight. He misses, but he just picks it up like it's a toothpick. The man that went to the sin bin in the first half certainly made up for it straight after half time. That's a brilliant piece of skill. Look at that. Well, you don't see that every day, do you? You see it in World Series rugby, though. It is scintillating. And he was able to pick it up. He was at full pace, so therefore, the force just standing, waiting to see what happened. The ball springs out and he's at full pace, very hard to recover. That's a great bit of skill. You need the kick now, it's wide. It's going to be a really tough one. Taking it is Vetokani, one of the substitutes coming on. Struck it well. And the yeah. go up. So, great conversion from Veta Kani. Really his first involvement in the game. And here they come. 19-7 Fiji on the board. That's what we like. And have a look. Well, you can't see it. I can. I'm going to keep talking here, Ash, because I'm so excited to tell you. 19,466 fans are in this stadium. It's just gone up on the big screen. So how about that, Michael Liner, for an attendance? We talked at the top now that you would be proud. You were so much a part of this 12 months ago when Andrew Forrest came to you and said, what can we do? Look at that picture, and I'm going to tell you the number again, 19,466. Well done, sir. <laughs> it's magnificent, isn't it? They've been treated to a really good game of rugby, some great 
Great entertainment before the game. Wolf, mother at half time. I mean, how much do you want? Oh, and there's still more. There's there's much more of this game to go. It, it is the feeling here. Like you've won, you've captained Australia. You've won World Cups. You were actually just a couple of years ago when you were a little bit younger. Am I right in remembering that you were the the world record holder for points scored in international rugby? You've done some wonderful things, but the feeling here is just sensational. Yeah, it's great. It's great to see. You know that this time last year there was a lot of depression around Coach. rugby in Western Australia and rugby in Australia for that matter. And it's great to see people Set. being able to give them the opportunity come and watch quality rugby and uh, where their be beloved blue as Fiji continue to mount a comeback. They do indeed and I'd like to remind you gentlemen that when the force name was came up with it was because it represented values of strength, energy and community and we're seeing all of that here tonight at NIB Stadium. Fiji now trying to get back in the game. Vokka the captain taking it into contact, contact sets it up. Bularika, who's really come to life after the half-time break, waits again, goes the short side, almost tried to do a little sniping run, was held up, he's lost possession now, good steal by the force, and Fergus Lee Warner. A double knock on there, a little bit of respite for the force here, because they're undefining themselves under pressure in this first seven minutes of the second half. It's Fiji sort of mounting a comeback as they needed to do. The force have now got the possession into the scrum. Reasonably good attacking position, even though it's in their own half. They've got a wide blind side to the right if Pryor decides to probe down there. And then a pretty dangerous sort of set of backs out to the left. So good good position. But Deegan's up the fly half for the force tonight's used the boot a little Crouch. bit quite judiciously actually and found a lot of Lines. open space in behind Fiji. He's waited his kick superbly as Pryor puts the ball in. Scrum holds firm, comes to Deegan now. Iona, wide pass it goes. Just stepping off the left foot. Brilliant by Lacey. Lacey broke through the tackle. Goes to ground now. The crowd enjoyed that. Deegan again, quick hands. Trying to break through was Tevin Ferris. He left the ball behind. Fiji, though, have it now. They spin it out wide. It's going to come to Railala. Railala tries the one handed ball. Victor Carney. Oh, my goodness. He kept that in play and brilliantly offloaded it to Atanuisa. It's a part of the pre game entertainment. That was an amazing piece of skill. Now, Fiji are oh, really ball, coming foot. to life now. Vokka to oh. Vetokani, again he takes it. They're up to the 22. Force scrambling a little bit to get their defence organised. Going the short side, the captain, Mosese Vokka, into contact again. Driving now, real determination from Toby Levo. Goes to ground again, this time it's... Diki Diki Latte who's gone to ground, but the penalty goes the Force's way. Penalty four. Oh, that, how about those pitches from just a moment ago? What great images, what a great angle. Look at that. Yeah, Fiji starting to put a few phases together here and using some skill, but also some power. That's magnificent. Then that's a great catch as well. Yeah, such superb athleticism. And then comes the force in all sorts of ways. That was a good turnover from the force there, right in the middle of the field. It needed to be done. Pryor, the captain, driving his team forward. This is a possession. They talk about possession in the first half. Fiji didn't get a much of it, but the second half, that's changed. That's why they become dangerous. Force, good line out from the force. And Stander absolutely drilled into the ground by Ratuva. Iona and Braki. Oh, they were looking to combine. I only took it into the contact for the force. Ferris offloads. Good turnover. Stolen. Brilliant steal again from Tavita Ratuva. And he's injured though. He's in a bit of trouble. He's waving for attention. That's not good news for Fiji. Again, good defensive play. Just stopping the run forward from Ray Lala. Yeah, the referee stopped the game. minute he went to ground he was in trouble to beat the Ratuva I'm sure it is Ratuva on the ground yeah, I think he's up oh dear, yeah, no, don't, uh... 
unfortunately, that looks like a broken leg, so very, very unfortunate. So, another injury, the second injury, repeating the news on Peter Grant is that it looked, that it was, it was terrible, it was tough, it was hard, and it looked perhaps worse than it ended up being. He's okay. The good news now is that he's okay. So, while well, we've got this break in play, uh, once again, I mentioned the other member of our commentary team in the first half who didn't come up in the fitness test. Uh, he's not with us, but he promises he'll do better, get here next week. But he did join the Fijians at training, as we know. What did he get up to? Let's get it on, people. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, 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 down, 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 down. Go, 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 Sitting here uh, amongst us um, in, well, just over a week from now, of course, the, the beauty of this great game is that Game 2 is coming up not Sunday, but next Sunday, Mother's Day. Michael, I know it's not your plans to actually necessarily be here, but maybe you're going to have to come back. This is so big. You've flown in from London uh, for this game. <laughs> we thank you so much for it. It's been great to have you in. So uh, we, we might have to get you back. Michael Liner, Pete Rosethorn and Wolfmother on the same ticket, hey? On the same gig. There isn't there. <laughs> on camera in a minute, on camera. Are you having fun? Are you enjoying it? I am actually, yes. It's been a great game so far and I just, I'm just amazed at the crowd that's come. And what's important is it's not just the one-off thing, that the, the community and the spirit just keeps building on, on what is what has been created to date. And it's important that in two weeks' time we see the same thing. And actually, the people that are here tonight, that they actually go and tell people and bring people with them and say what a great night it was and, you know, come along. There we are again, those magnificent pitches from above. 19,466 fans here, the break in play. Andrew Forrest out in the middle. Concern now for the Fijians. And as you, you, you did mention it, we said when Pete Graham went down, it is a brutal game, it happens. It doesn't mean we want it to happen. But it, unfortunately, you called it right. Um, I, I, we've got a broken leg out there, and it's part of the sport. It is. It's very, very unfortunate. You don't want to see that. I think he just fell awkwardly, and maybe the tackler actually landed on his leg as he hit the ground. And those things you can't, you know, they just happen. It's just one of those unlucky things in sport. Yeah, I think the important thing, though, is that when these things happen, that there's treatment immediately, there's good medical staff around people, uh, be it, uh, and it's, it's, it's straight away. So that's the important thing. We just hope okay. everything is okay. Ah, there's a face that we know. Um, that's great to see. Uh, Bob there, that the boss of WA Rugby, Bob Hunter there, he'd be very proud because this, this does a lot. Let's get see if we can't get Danny Orlando to, to, to get over to Bob. I reckon we can. Uh, he's normally not short of a word. He's a good man. And, Michael, as you know, this is not just about elite rugby. It is a major part of it, but it's about community rugby and giving back to the grassroots. Maybe uh, you can talk to Bob. Now, Dan, uh, Danny, have you got Bob there, the brilliant man that he is? I do have Bob down here, and uh, he has been smiling for the whole whole first half of the match so far right into the second Bob how are you feeling tonight uh, this must be awesome this is absolutely fantastic from where we've been six months ago this is an outstanding event for uh, for rugby in WA really really excited and tremendous support from rugby WA for the force what does this mean for the future of the sport here uh, for, for all our kids all ages all the way through just to the fans the players it's, it's everything that the community wants, to be able to have a team that can play at the highest level out there. It's, it's outstanding. Really, really exciting for us all. Bob, it's great to see you here on the sidelines. Enjoy the rest of the match. Thank you. And can I just make it really clear, the, the guys from Mindaroo, Nick Marvin and your team, just been fantastic. Really, really, really thankful for this support. Thanks, Bob. Enjoy. Thank you. Righto, that's enough from Bob. Get him off. Tell him to fix his wins or not too. Uh, a great, Michael, uh, for community rugby, that, that what World Series rugby and the Western Force and what uh, Andrew Forrest has, has brought to the table here in Yeah, absolutely. It's not, just, it's not just about the force that are out there tonight. It's, it's about the community. It's about introducing young kids to the game, the rugby ruse, that whole sort of thing with the clubs, the schools. You know, and there's a lot of people here tonight that I probably probably never come to a rugby match yep. before, and that's really important. 
you know, we look at what's happening in Australia and Australian rugby at the moment, something that we really have to look at in terms of a, attracting newcomers to the game. And here we talk about newcomers and your favourite band, Wolf Mother, just part of the entertainment that's been on before the match at halftime. It's been amazing. The fireworks, the flares, we've had blokes jumping from parachutes out of the sky. Swanee, the mascot, he's come down from the roof. Like, you don't see this all the time. You will see it regularly at World Series Rugby. Maybe you'll stand up next time. The Fijians with some fast foot footwork before the game. The Indigenous dancers from the Western Force. Um, this game has had it all, and unfortunately, too, it's had a couple of serious injuries, and uh, we'll resume play now with one of the Fijian players taken from the field with what we're pretty sure is a broken leg and uh, oh well, uh, off to hospital and again the best medical attention to work on that. It's a tough game. It's 19-7 Western Force, Fiji. Vita Kani gets the ball. He almost broke through the first tackle. It's a very good scrum there by the force, putting a huge amount of pressure through the front row of Fiji. Fiji though, looking to throw the ball around a little bit more than they did in the first half. They know they can get something out of this game. They've managed to get one try, taken to ground again, they set it up well. Lorica offloads to Voka. Voka, the captain. He's come into his own in the second half, Voka. He's really started to power up the middle, doing a lot more work. As indeed, Lorica snatched that ball. It goes out wide again through the hands of one of the other substitutes, Filamoni Cerro. Good defence, Bracky. Needed to be strong in that tackle. Maui, and again, in the middle of that was Marcel Bracchi. These days, backs have to tackle. There's no avoiding that. That's why I retired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lovely little sidestep that was from Alcock. Alcock, though, eventually goes to Grant. He's been doing a lot of work very quietly tonight. Alcock, but that was a lovely step, just making a little bit of yardage, giving a bit of the oh, nice hands. Very fast hands and a brilliant offload. Uh, Ewan almost breaking through the tackle. And I was just thinking when you guys were showing him on the guitar. Here's the his step. There he goes, Alcock up the middle there, very strong. I was going to say, I was thinking about him on the guitar. If you remember, Johnny Wilkinson used to play the guitar. He used to buy one wherever he went, and at the World Cup, he would leave. He left it in the hotel afterwards. He would buy one, play f with it during a tournament, and then just leave it behind. Really? Yep. Gosh. Did you get one on eBay? It sounds like no, to me. I, 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 what, a, what a waste. I mean, you make a living now, out, out following Johnny Wilkinson around taking his guitars when he left. Another injury here, perhaps Looks not like cramp as severe. Me. Yeah, cramp's OK, we can wear that. And, uh, well, the clock says 53.10 only as we have a look at uh, the replay just at the bottom of the screen. The umpire getting involved too. Uh, he's worn that well, n not, not injured. They have, as we said earlier, they have only been together, this Western Force team, as a team since March. So they've done a lot of work, a lot of physical work, but there's nothing like playing. No, and it's it, there's a you know the build up to this and all the interest in it and you know that puts a lot of pressure on people and the force have really come out pretty well. They're, they're under a bit of pressure at the moment yeah. from Fiji. Fiji have sort of realised that they um, need to to score next to stay in this game. Saw sure, Matt Hodgson down on the bench. Of course, he's up and down on the bench. There's a man that's done everything for the oh, force yeah. forever. I don't Boys. think anyone's played as many games of Super Sets. Rugby as Matt, now retired, the uh, last captain inside Super Rugby, now the head of high performance. We'll see if we can't catch up with him as well. He's done so much work as well. Now, uh, the advantage there is we could hear Ian Pro with the ha hands out and now calling his boys to move. Look at that. It's a very, very good scrum there. Yeah, he's calling them all in. They are a team. They are a real team, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. A couple of... Um, a couple of replacement props coming on and making a difference there. Kieran Longbottom spent a bit of time over at Saracens. Yep. Over in London. It's made a big difference to the scrum. I would say the first front rowers sort of wore them out, and these guys are taking advantage of that. That's sort of paying tribute to all the force front rows because they're much bigger than me, and I don't want them getting angry. 19-7, Western Force over Fiji. 54 minutes gone. The line out right in front of our commentary box. It's starting to arc up again here. Something's about to happen, Ash. Well, prior offloads to stand up. 
and he's taken into contact again. Force trying to keep the ball up. Pryor gets quick ball out to the open side where they've got numbers. Pryor again to Deegan. Deegan spins it just out the back door. It goes breaking through. High attack for short and wide on Rod Davies, but it's still alive for the Force. There's an advantage being played. Again, the crowd suddenly make their presence felt as the force drive towards the dry line. Oh! Fiji really showing their warrior spirit. Here they hold go. them up. So close, yet yeah, so yeah. far. Yeah, the ball was called Number there. The ball 19. didn't come out, but there's a high tackle. And Run Davies, that was very slick 19. move from the force. Great pace. In fact, I think it's probably one of the first times the force have been down here in the second half, and they've really You're right. sort of exploded. Look at that. They're not on their own. 19,466, just like that. The chant going around NIB Stadium. Oh, we haven't seen rugby like this in this country for a long time. Not since the times so of the days when you wore My the goodness. green and gold. Can't have been that long, surely. <laughs> yeah. Well, a crucial line-out now for the force if they want to get some points back on the board. Here's the high right tackle again. Ball. There's the high tackle there. Well, that's good ball for the force, but it's a brilliant that's drive right. by the Fijians, forcing them to go back. The ball is in the hands of Alafeti Ketu'u. Still driving forward the force. Numbers coming, they're going to go over the line. It's left behind them. And that's not going to be a try, in my opinion. They did all the work, Michael. At the back, they think so. OK, take us through it. Well, we've got a very good formation there. We can see the ball just... And then it gets, somehow gets transferred to the back, and they they get all get over the line, except the ball, playing with the ball. There he is. Alex, is there? Yes, sure. Alex, we haven't got a clear ground. OK, let's listen in. Can you please confirm try, yes or no? Sure, so on-field decision is no try. Correct. Okay. Thank you. So he's asked, on-field decision on is words, no try. So what he's asked the TMO is, is there any reason that I can award the try? Let's have a look here. See the balls. It's rolled over the arm. Um, Ash, if, if they went to you, it was no try straight away. Have you changed your mind? No. Right. I still don't think it's a try. Rolled over the arm of the... It's got to be compelling player. evidence that there is grounding. OK, great sense of anticipation here now. Ooh. Well, That's on the line there. They That's needed the, the force. They need it. Tim Sampson would be getting edgy. There's no doubt about that. 19 zero gonna, at half time. I'm going to call it a try, Ash. Well, was it controlled? I mean, he rolls the ball forward. Does that constitute control? If you... There it is there. You're allowed one movement. And there it is there, downward. On the line. Is on in. the line's in. On the line's a try. On the line is in. But you're right. Whether Now, there could be a question mark over whether... George, I'm happy the Here we go. player has retained control of the ball yep. and has then grounded it on the line, so you may award the try. OK, so you've got the blue play. There's a reason. The Holding bloke the ball, in between you and I played 72 try, times correct. for his he's country and, and was at one stage the Blue world record holder of points scored. Try. He's got We've good vision despite what he tells us. Wait for confirmation. Yeah. Uh, we've got to be fair to Ashley here because he's calling it. It's a, a try. He's, he called it live no. from 100 yards away. Pump yourself up, Michael. It's a try. I called it on the monitors from two feet away. <laughs> the force 24 7 with the try. <laughs> Um, and they did need it. They Gee, they did. had to earn it, though, didn't they? Yeah. 3G, really good. Yeah, no, that was a... And it was a good set piece there. I, I, you know, they really got into good position. Van Humphreys there laying down the law. Well, the interesting thing was hearing the, the referee wanting clarity whether he yes. controlled the ball. Yes. And that was the big question for me. He's I, the skipper. Initially, I didn't think he did. As Pryor takes over the kicking duties with Peter Grant off, gives his usual shake of his tail. Nice stance at the wicket. Ooh, he's, he's just pushed, pushed that out wide, yep. And Michael, uh, you were a goal kicker. I wonder whether that sort of routine he goes with the little shake, whether he's thinking about too much when he kicks. You know, they say you should be relaxed and keep it simple. Yeah, it's also, 
It's a bit like tennis player bouncing the ball before he serves. It's, a, it's getting into that routine, preparing your body to execute the kick or the serve or whatever it is. So it's what works for you. Mm -hmm. Seen some strange um, routines before, but if it goes through the posts, nobody draws pictures of your routine on the scoreboard. Absolutely, the restart from Fiji, the crowd doing a Mexican wave around NIV Stadium. The noise level is just lifted. Force going to have to try and run out from their 22. Good hands. This should be a green light run if they power try can happen. Standard taken to ground. The lights are on under the post. So they've taken this from inside their 22. Can they run the length of the pitch and get a try? Prior. And that's just been overcooked. So we'll go back. It's Rod Davies with the kick. Just put too much on it. So back to the 10 meter line. Davies has had a good game tonight, but I've just questioned that decision there. I mean, the execution was poor, sure, but the decision force seemed to be on a bit of a roll there. They had pace, they were recycling the ball quickly, and just to put it in behind, particularly with a power try on the board on the opportunity. So, anyway, it's done now, got to deal with it. Just wonder whether the pace of the game and the speed of the scrums and the line out taking its toll. Ooh. Back by the force, it's gone out, so it'll be another line out for Fiji. And while we wait for that, I think we can go boundary side with Daniel Lando, unfortunately, with another injury update. Yeah, thanks, guys. Look, Tavita Rituva of Fiji has been rushed to hospital with a suspected broken ankle. Uh, it's not confirmed, but look, not very good news for him and uh, hopefully nothing too serious. Okay, that's great. Thanks, Dan, reporting in there. So, uh, well, the, the rugby has been just outstanding. It has been fast, and with that come some big collisions, and there's plenty still to come, you think? We're sure likely to be. There's going to be a crescendo towards the end of the game as Fiji again start to try and run the ball. It comes out wide to Cero. Cero offloads it, driving forward again. Good run from Atun Atunisa. Good defence from... Lee Warner, he's played well tonight, Lee Warner. He's been very strong through the middle, carrying the ball, but he's also defended well. He has found himself out in the wing there against a winger, strong winger, and uh, did well. And then it looks like he gave away a penalty. You give him a rap, and he just didn't roll away quick enough. I think he's tied. So Fiji now with a line-out just short of the fourth try line. Can they get a second try? The referee telling them to hurry up. Of course, it's got to be taken within the minute. Now, they can take their time. They've just got to do it within the time limit. It's a good throw. Oh, was that interfered within the air? But anyway, referee's got his arm up. Yes. Yeah, it was. Quick tap. And again, it's the scrum half driving forward. Vulerica. Vulerica so short. He's quite lively, Vularica, isn't he? You can see why he's, he's played to a fairly high level. Vularica again joining the forwards and driving it. Fiji, though, just still struggling to just get that little gap. And it's lost forward in the tackle. Marcel Bracky picks it up, goes to the boot. Not usually his strongest suit. No advantage. Uh, come back for the scrum here. Well, here's your opportunity for a power play, right under your own sticks here. The risk reward. Blue seven. Okay, so what would you do as a coach? Jordy's Michael, coming off. don't look at me like you're never going to be a coach, a man of your intelligence. <laughs> That's why I might not be. <laughs> good point. Someone says, what are you going to do, coach? And he just looks at you with a blank look. Uh, it's a very good position here. I mean, you've got both sides of the pitch. Fiji have got to get back, up the, the back three have got to be back for the kick. So there's an opportunity here for the force. You know, they're 24-7 up with 20, 19 minutes to go. I'd give it a go. I'd give it a go. Got a nice wide blind that Pryor can explore. We see some more changes as well, as well on the coming off. As the whole front row has been changed for Fiji, you've got Dolakoto coming on, Veta Yaki. And Luke Tungi. Yeah. Luca Tungi. And all cops come off. He's had a good game. He's been industrious as a seven tonight. Well, he must be pleased his first choice, having had to struggle behind David Pocock and Matt Hodgson here. Two average players, aren't they? 
Okay, so you reckon go? Why not? Yep, I, I agree. That's what it's about, and that's the whole idea so of this, is to, to prime the game quicker. You can see Prime with the ball there, having a look at the Fijian defence and talking to his Gross. backs, just looking at where, what the setup is, where's the opportunity. They know they're under pressure, the Fijians there. Stability. Okay. The Tangi, the player being spoken to. Now this will be interesting here with Pryor coming back around. If they, if Longbottom can get the the shoulder up on the right and twist the scrum, twist the Fijians around to their right. Okay. That gives Pryor an opportunity to come Ouch. around the back to this short Boys. side here. So Kieran Longbottom's the key Set. to this play. Yeah. So Fijian. Right, uh, has to stay bound, and if they could, he's trying to get it up, they, which they're just achieving. Pryor goes the open they go side, the other way. really quick hands, trying to break out of defence is Lacey, taking the ground on the 22, it's still alive, the green light should come on soon. Deegan again, fast, wide pass from him. Davis, Davis going round the outside, fast beat from him, taking the ground by Fiji. Force though, looking to recycle. Brilliant work being done by Harrison Hall. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Keen, youthful exuberance. Nothing like it. Good play by the force again from Take one side the to the other. You can't tackle the nine. There he is, just got a little bit carried away here. Tackle him. I don't know, I mean, he came from behind and drove over, but he took the half back out. You can't do that. <laughs> Ooh, one would argue that maybe he didn't come from behind. <laughs> Bit of a side entrance there. So, with the kick. Force move up to That's just short one. of the halfway line. Well, 17 minutes left in this match. Force well in control in this first on, World on. Series rugby match. All on the one team has been the motto. And the force have played as a really good team tonight. Fiji battling hard again to get back into the match. That's a super pickup from Vularika again. Lovely hands out wide. That was a really pick, difficult pickup for Dicky Dicky Latte. And lost forward in the tackle. So another scrum and applause from the forwards for the force. Now, we talked about him before, Matt Hodgson, he is the force and has been for such a long time. We'll get to him in just a moment, I think. I see the camera near Hodjo, he loves the camera. He loves to be near one. He might even have the cans on. There he is, what a good looking rooster. How are you going there, mate? Uh, good, guys, how are you going? Well, we're loving it. Uh, we are absolutely loving it. 24-7 the score. Well, you can't see, but it says now 140 Western Force caps. You love this club. How do you feel right now, mate? I'm just excited, Michael Lyon is talking about driving malls. That that was pretty hey. exciting. <laughs> um, no, it's been a great turnout by the crowd. Great game so far by both teams. Crouch. I think Fiji are just in this. They um, they oh, scored an X. It could be an interesting last 10 minutes. Set. Hey, Hodjo, 19,466 here. Uh, beyond your wildest dreams? Uh, yeah, I, I never thought this would happen. Uh, after the last game here, after the force, um, only a couple of months ago, and then turning up today with so many people. Um, almost makes me want to play again. Hey, if you turn around, you can become a commentator because uh, the Western Force are on the move at the moment. Things might just be about to happen. You could, you could perhaps run out and help. Yeah, I know it might be that 24th man. You never know, but the boys are doing good enough without me, I think. Ash. Oh, oh it's just not forward in the tackle, not but it's gone. Deegan who picks up. Deegan goes to the boot to try and spread the ball Andy to the left-hand side. Good jump from Marcel Bracchi, but he couldn't get it. Dicky Dicky Latte got there first. And it's Fiji looking to break forward. It's a great run now coming from the big number eight, Tuisua. He's taken a ground, ball still alive for Fiji. Tuisua again up on his feet, gets the ball, drives Fiji up to the 22. Spinning the ball, was that a good pass? Itayaki somehow kept it alive for Fiji. It was a fairly low pass, but the penalty has gone against Fiji. Lucky Hojo didn't call Ash. You wouldn't have been able to call this the way you did. That was thrilling. Yeah, really good run here. Imagine tackling that. Goodness. Great tackle by Lacey, though. Really put him down. I also voiced knock on in the tackle. And that's a very good tackle as well in the middle there. As long bottom. Cut him down and that turned the turnover there. 
Had a bit of a lie down Sorry. after he made the tackle too, Kieran Longbottom. Yeah, he's made a bit of difference when he's come on Longbottom. In the scrum, he's been very strong. That was a very strong tackle midfield. Needed to be done. And somewhere in there, just on the side, you could see Matt Hodgson. He'd had enough of us. He wanted to go back. The coach was calling him. He does a million jobs, Hodjo. He, he's a beauty. He really is. Um, he'll be down there on the bench somewhere. With, that's not Matt, I could tell you. Well, maybe it is. Maybe he is Swanee. I don't know. He's done just about every other job. Moving OK. The uh, Western Force mascot, of course, dropped from the sky. Or Westie, he's got a new name. Um, as uh, Dropped from the sky earlier on as part of the, the pre-match, the exciting pre-match. Yeah, you're talking about Matt Hodgson there. He's, he's done a magnificent job, Matt. As you said, he's just about done everything. He's been involved in making sure this team came together. He was coaching them early on before Samson arrived. And then, you know, he's just uh, so enthusiastic. And as you said, loves this club. And uh, I think he'd be one of the proudest men here tonight. Well, the force is making a change at halfback. Ryan Lauren's coming on for Ian Pryor. As Deegan kicks the ball forward, just up to the halfway line. An inch forward for the force. Line out taken really quickly. Good hands again from Lee Warner. Spun wide, Deegan out wide. Oh dear me. Rod Davies, I think he saw the try line begging ahead of him and just took his eye off the ball. Yeah, Deegan put under pressure there, got the pass away. And as you said, I think uh, Rod was uh, looking at some open spaces, but there was also a couple of Fijians honing in on him as well. I think he had an eye on one of them. So it was a mixture of fear and excitement, you're saying, Michael? Probably more the fear bit, I think. <laughs> Down on the bench, the substitutions being made, Fast and Furious. There are people in beautiful seats down there, pitch side seats as well. It's all part of the experience of World Series Rugby. There are so many ways to enjoy it and so many people have. And I hope you are at home, wherever you may be watching this coverage, live on Channel 7 in Perth, uh, in Perth and right around the rest of the nation on Fox Sports. Great to have such powerful broadcast partners with us as we watch the power of Fiji and the force and they're away here the Fijian Warriors they are indeed as the ball comes wide it's Diki Diki Latte getting the ball well off Malele setting it wide on the right hand side Bularika arrives he gets it away to Veta Kani Veta Yaki I was right the first time Veta Kani my apologies there and taken into contact by Cyril Reese. Again, Vokar involved the captain. He tries to spur his team forward. Vularika. And that was a dreadful pass, but brilliantly brought under control by Veta Kani. Lovely little offload from him to Penny Raedre. It was knocked forward once more by Fiji. Yeah, Raedre, they're just trying to get a pass away under pressure. That was a nice one, but there it is there. Had two force men on him. Just tried to get it away and couldn't do so. I think it's important, we were talking about substitutes before, I think for both teams, but particularly for the force here at home, that all the substitutions that are sitting on the bench uh, get a chance to get out there and get amongst it as well, because leading at 24-7 with 12 minutes to go, it's important that the guys that have been doing all the training as part of this squad, they get to feel the ball out in the field as well and get involved and so you get into the season a little bit I think that's an important part of the uh, the whole squad situation uh, the clock's ticking down and you'd hope that we might see somebody try and go for a power try in the last 10 minutes or so I mean Michael you came up with the idea was it that famous barbarians try against the All Blacks in 73 that was your inspiration <laughs> no not really I think it was more basketball I, I, I quite like the idea of that three-point line in fact one of the other things I discussed uh, with Andrew and, and Hodjo was that I've actually with a drop goal three points right in front of the posts 10 meters out yep. not a huge skill but from the sideline from 45 meters out that's a bigger skill so let's reward that and put like a basketball three-point line around there where you have a certain type place and then if you kick from outside that you get three points ah uh, there's a man who we know likes his rugby rowan munchenberg the md at bank west and of course you see the bank west logo on the 
shirts of the Western Falls Bankers do a, a lot for sport right around the country and certainly here in the West and again at a, at a community level as well which which works in beautifully with the values of of the Western Force and the organisation that, that has been put together here. Yeah, good on Bank Westers. It's great to see a lot of partners getting involved with the force and now that we see the crowd and how the teams are playing, etc. Don't hesitate to say there will be more. Okay, Ash, the crowd finds their voice as we're waiting for another scrum. Ryan Lawrence waits to put the ball in for the force. Really solid scrum from both packs. A great sound. Lawrence. And in fact, it's Pryor has stayed on. So I think it's Deegan that's gone off. So has got Pryor at fly half. Stando with a good break for him. Deegan's still out there as well. So it must be something else in the back line has gone out. So Deegan must have gone out to inside centre. Pryor was certainly playing at fly half. Pryor there, spins it. Lovely ball and lovely dummy from Keitu'u. He's already got a try to his name in this opening match. The scorer of the Force's fourth try. 17 blue knock-off. And Another knock forward. Just the height on this side, Jordy, last run, just the height. And Fiji really battling hard in this match. It's been a really tough day at the office for them, but they've kept playing. Veta Yaki is the man who's going to be watched. We just heard the touch judge talking to the referee and just saying, just keep an eye on him. Just going a little bit too low on the left-hand side. Vularika this time will put the ball in for Fiji. Back to enter the final 10 minutes of the match. As Matt Hodgson said, if Fiji get a try, could really liven things up. Good pick up by Tuasua. Kicked ahead by Fiji. Awkward bats. Deegan gets it easily though. Kicks it forward. Be fielded well by oh, Malele. Malele spins it infield. Pungi takes it into contract. Lost forward, I think. No play on. Apparently no. According to the officials, it didn't go forward, but it did eventually go forward off the force player. It's just getting a little bit scrappy now, you know, the team, both teams making a lot of changes. Uh, so that, that affects continuity and also Fiji trying to push passes, etc. And also um, fatigue plays a little bit of a factor as well, given that this is the first game for both teams of the season. So let's not forget that the Western Force will be in action again next Sunday when they take on um, Tonga over here at four o'clock Western Standard Time on Mother's Day. So if you want to Get your mum in front of the TV. Make sure you do catch all the action. Better still, bring it to the game. Another good pickup by Tuisua. A little pass infield and Toby Level combining well with Cyril Reese. Taken to ground again is Tongi. Lorica, good pass from him. Malele, that's a bit of a wild pass, and Bracky was onto it quickly. But Vokka did really well, almost stolen by Pryor, but it's still Fiji rampant coming forward through Malele. They need to recycle the ball quickly, they get it now, and it's spun wide and high, and well, eventually it was left, and it just fell into the arms of Cyril Reese. Reese, though, dragged to the ground by Tevin Ferris. Vularika, taken again by Tuisua, into contact. Ball comes back, didn't want to pick it up, the big man. Luka Tanga didn't want to pick it up, but it was offside anyway, so it is a penalty to Fiji. And once more, they kick for the corner to gain ground and get closer to that elusive force try line. And there's the skipper. He's been so good and has, uh, well, since these guys first came together. He was a, a somewhat of a surprise selection as captain. Uh, some, I'll say, so-called experts didn't have him in the top three or four choices, but it was inspired choice. Tim Sampson knew exactly what he was doing, and he, Ian has certainly responded to the charge off the field, and we've seen it tonight, and we continue to see it. His leadership out there, his life and on-field coaching. He's a, a very great tactician in his own right. 
Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty experienced guy, you know, as I said earlier. Been over at Harlequins earlier this year. And experienced different sort of culture of playing, uh, conditions, etc. So that all helps. Great look at the line out. Good oh, ball, right. good throw oh, from Dolacotto. At the back of the hand it goes and driving for us, Raidre held up again. Fiji so close to the line. Can they get over? Trying to get the ball back. Pick and drive goes again. Marshalling the troops is Matawalu. Matawalu, another half back is on. Matawalu gets his hands on the ball. Short little pass to Vokka. Vokka again driven back by the force defence. Brilliant play by them. Good defence again. And we see it once more from Kieran Longbottom. Fiji just slowing things up, looking for the support, driving forward, but the force defence is too strong. Hold them up again, they're just inching towards the line at the moment. Well, we said if rugby was the game played in heaven, Fiji are three steps away from heaven at the moment. Picked up, it's out, and they're trying to drive forward. It's Tuisua held up again, just short of the line, going through the middle, he's over, I think. Well, I think that may well be a try. And the try has been given, and it's just a reward for Boca. So there it is, 24-12, now Western Force Fiji. There is still time. Thank you. Ah, brilliant. Now the Force have to really think uh, just a little bit about it. Only 12 points, you can see it just like I can. Seven point tries, the power try, that's what's new. One of the things new about World Series Rugby. And uh, the skipper will get the boys in and say, yeah, don't start thinking about what might happen uh, in six minutes from now. We have to worry right now. Look at him. He's telling them, worry about exactly what occurs from here. That conversion will be so, so important and not from an impossible spot. So here we go. This is the conversion. A massive moment in the game. It is indeed. Vetukani just shifting to his left-hand side. Just off to the left-hand side of the post. If he can slot this, Fiji are well back in the game. Strikes, he may have pushed that out to the other flags go up. So it is indeed another two points for Fiji. It is 24-14 in favor of the force. Well, there you go. Let's have a look at, at how it occurred. Again, Michael, they have just earned everything that they've got. Yeah, they've had to. Their force defence has been very strong. And it just, just leaked there a little bit. Of strong try through the middle, Fiji. Huge Fijian community here in Perth. They've been uh, together at different times with this team. Uh, Nick Nat, uh, the most famous Fijian of all, yep. was certainly in They're this state of WA, was, was with the team deal. And I know he couldn't come to the game because he's got a match on uh, tomorrow, but he'll be watching right now. Uh, Nick Nat, you never know what's about to occur. Almost stolen on the restart by the force, looking to get the ball back really quickly. Matawalu feeds it out. Fiji happy to run it out of defence. Hurled to the ground ball by Stunder. Outside the 22. Lovely dummy. Oh, oh, ball. Oh, oh, Superb. Oh. Here comes Ray Andre. Off mode again. Here comes Matawalu. Matawalu taking the ground just over the 10 metre line for the force. This is a brilliant break. Hands on the ground. And the force penalised for hands on the ground. The voice there of Jordan Way, the referee, making it clear. And what's not so clear is exactly how the force are going to gain back control. They they can defend from here uh, time-wise, but it's not the preferred option all the way they'd love to get it back in their hands yeah that's what they need possession they're under warning here any other fringements that'll mean another sin bin which puts added pressure onto the force but fiji is starting to finally get some some breaks in behind force gee they look dangerous when they do Matawalu, the scrum half, has really made a difference since he came on. He's the brother of the flying Fijians halfback, Nicola Matawalu, who played a few years back. And apparently his brother's given him lots of advice. He just said, stay focused when you're out there. And he's certainly done that since he came on and has combined really well with Vetokani. Vokka claims it in the air for Fiji. They look to get a rolling ball just short. They need to get the ball back and recycle it. 
maybe argue that the force brought that down and deliberately picked up just short of the line again for Fiji. They're not far away. Short Is that on the line? Well, short was the call from Jordan Wade, the referee. Fiji, if they score again now, we are in for a grandstand finish. No doubt about that. Matawalu feeds it out. Desperately trying to get there. Diki Diki Late, is he over? Just short again for Fiji. The crowd urging the force to keep defending. How good is this? Another drive from Fiji comes to North. Ball's there. They need to maybe oh. try and spin it wide. Matawalu, they look for something different. Vitokani steps off his left foot, then his right. Taken to ground, they've gone backwards now, but maybe a little bit more space with which they can move. Taken into contact once more by oh. Raidre. Matawalu, though, knocked it forward. The explanation, they don't necessarily like it. What's it mean? They're asking him to have a look whether it was a knock-on or not. You can see the goes to ground here, then he pushes the ball up and back. I don't think it's come off his hands at all. I think it's come off his, his stomach there and just dropped to ground. So, so that's OK. Fiji should be... They're actually... What they're arguing about there is correct. OK. So can we referee body called, fine? The referee called that it was a knock-on, and they're arguing... Matawalu is arguing there that he didn't touch it with his hands. That's the the rest, they have a look at the TMO. But the referee said no. That's my decision. And like all good sportsmen, by by the referee's decision. The crowd start to chant as they want to bring this home. The Western Force got that possession that they were after, Ash. They have indeed. And it was a rather lucky decision. As again, they try to burst out of defence. Good running coming from Alatimu. Are oh, the force going to score the first power try? Deegan, a little goose step from in to Davies. Davies sidestepping his own players, sees a little gap, goes through it. Vokka, though, brings him to ground. Picked up again by the force. They're over the 22. Wow, we didn't need to go onto the boot. That was the wrong decision. Alatimo. Now Fiji have possession, and they'll definitely go on the attack. Tuisua out to Vokka. Vokka, who's had a brilliant game for Fiji, really led from the front, the flanker. Picked up superbly by Diki Diki Latte. Still alive for Fiji. They're throwing the ball around. <laughs> it's just fabulous, isn't it? Filamoni Cero, the man who took it into the ruck, comes out now. Malele. And down the flank they're going. He's put the ball to the boot. Was that necessary? Picks up. It's oh! Gone. The touch judge has got his flag up. Oh, how unfortunate. Vita Yaki, is it? And you, so you see there, uh, there were some that said uh, that this was just exhibition rugby and it didn't mean much. Well, we saw it there in the aftermath. How close, Michael? By Tiaki. Well, I mean, that's not bad skill for a hooker, is it? That's pretty good. He was just short anyway. He needs, to, he, needs to, he needs to be a little bit taller. <laughs> that's a magnificent pickup, and he's all, he's six inches short. So, look at him. Come on, give it to me, son. Give it to me. Now, we, we've got... It's all happened here from start to finish in all sorts of ways. Fireworks on and off the park, and we've got back towards the middle of the ground. Another injury concern that Jordan Way, the referee, is attending to. And while he's doing that, uh, the Fiji will both teams come together. So that's just cramp. I think the call's got to be get on with it. Yeah. We've got 10 seconds left, so we're good. So we're good? I think we're yeah, good. We're all ready to go. OK. So tell us, get, paint the picture for us now. What's about to occur? Water off now. Water's off. <laughs> I think there's going to be a line out here. There will be a line out. Who's ball? No It'll be force ball, line out. And given that time's up, I think the force will win it and get it off the pitch. Unless they want to score a try. Power tries on here. On here. Power try. This is power try right here, right now, if the force can go all the way. Call them home, Ash Morrison. It is indeed, as Brennan Standard takes it into contact. Uh, and it's going to be put out by the captain. He punts 
takes it high into the stand Ian Bryant. And the Western Force are back with a victory over Fiji Warriors. A really strong performance and a really scintillating match in front of a packed crowd. And you can see just how much the fans have enjoyed it. Western Force 24, Fiji Warriors 14. Great call, great game, and uh, what a night. It has been uh, absolutely amazing. Um, it has just kept going and going and going with those uh, unfortunate injuries. The injury to Peter Grant, he is uh, okay. It looked uh, like it could have been something completely different and a broken ankle to uh, the visitor from Fiji, so not too bad. As the, the game was played in great spirit in front of a packed house, and there it is, Michael. That's one of the highlights. That picture. Yeah, it was right at the start when we saw, saw the, the the ground full of supporters who wanted to come and see a great game, and that is exactly what they got. They got a Western force that came out of the blocks and showed how united they are and how they wanted to play. Fiji just couldn't string it together in the first half, but out they came and scored first in the second half and really brought the game alive. It was a great, great game of rugby, a great occasion. Bring on the next one. <laughs> Michael Liner, uh, it, this has been such a, a great night and a long night, and uh, we've got to wrap it up. Can I thank you very much for everything you've done to make it happen and for your work tonight? Uh, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be here. And I'm just so pleased for Western Australia and rugby that uh, we're seeing quality stuff here and great entertainment for the fans. The future's certainly bright to Ash Morrison for his great call to Danny Orlando down on the boundary too. It has been absolutely magnificent to Andrew Forrest. Who knows where he is at the moment enjoying all that went before him. It was a history-making night for Australian sport. Friday, May the 4th. And long may the force be with you.